everybody, this is Roxy with a crafty review. I just bought the Paper Studio cutting tool from um, Hobby Lobby. And I'm noticing it was stapled here and here, the plastic. So I'm wondering if it was a return. And I also see come smudges here. So we'll see how it goes. This comes out. So you can size 12 by 12, just like the Fiskars. I'm used to the Fiskars. I really like theirs. Um, and I didn't know, but you do have to put downward pressure, which is fine, but I like Fiskars because you don't have to. So I thought I'd try different weight um, papers and whatnot. This is um, 60 pound Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's nice. It does slide nicely. And it kind of kind of gives that little edge, which I never... It's really prominent on here, which I'm not sure I like. See what I mean? Fiskars didn't do that, but... So then... Um, yeah, I'm kind of liking the Fiskars measuring better. It's a lot bigger, so you can see it at a glance. We might have to keep the receipt on this one. And I kind of don't get the two, like, I suppose you can just take this out. Maybe it's just for an extra. In fact, I think I will. I already don't like that. Again, there's that. Boy, I don't think it's that great. It's pretty rough here. Get what you pay for. Because this was only $5.99 with their half off um, week. Yeah, I'm not really sold on this one because I think it's pretty rough and that's just 110 pound the Nina so let's see what it does for watercolor see it's still not as prominent ridge Yeah, I wonder if it's because of the downward pressure too. You know, where it really pushes down as it's cutting more than a Fiskars does. And here's some cheapy Michaels or Hobby Lobby fiber paper. Yeah, it's not bad. But I really don't like, you know, that's not, I don't like that. See, this is my old Fiskars, how rough it was. And, but yet it didn't push the paper and kind of bend the paper. Where this is very noticeable. And the thinner the paper, the more noticeable. Because I don't see anything on here. A little tiny ridge. So you can actually see the thinner the paper, the more you see the bend. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'll get my Fiskars, my new Fiskars, and see the difference. Maybe I haven't noticed it with that one, but I kind of doubt it. I will be right back. So here's my new Fiskars, not my old broken down Fiskars. And I just like the the larger numbers. It's just easier and more quickly to see. 
So we will start with the 60 pound. Oh, see, I just never noticed it. It does have that. This seems even more prominent. Here's before. Yeah, this is actually, because this is, I don't think it's a month old. And yeah, everything's pretty new. Like there's no, um, here's my old one. And you can see the difference. The ridge is just like really scratchy up, see? Where this one is not at all. Nice and new. Um, so, it does here. I don't really want to do that because I don't have much 110 pound good. Good 110 pound left, so I'm not going to cut that. So we're not going to do that one. So, then we'll try this. Where's the cut? Here. Yeah, it's not... It's actually not as good as the Hobby Lobby. We'll try a little watercolor. Boy, that's perfect. Hmm. Yeah, it's not much different with the watercolor, the heavier stuff, but it is better. The, I mean, the Paper Studio is better for the lighter weight paper. So, I think I'm going to keep it and still love my Fiskars, but I think I'm going to keep that Paper Studio one, um, especially for the price to replace it, you know, to replace my other Fiskars. So... Alrighty, so I hope that helps if you've been looking at that. I've always kind of thought like, oh, it's, you know, we think of lower price, we think it's cheaply made. But I don't think so. I think it's pretty nice. So where is that? It's, what's nice too is it's narrower. You know, it fits in a smaller space. Okay, so I'm working on another project and realized... There are no measurements here, which is kind of goofy because if you need like, like I need to cut off a quarter of an inch, there's no quarter of an inch measurement. So that to me is kind of a, kind of a bad deal. I wish that was on there. I mean, you can make your own sticker up for it, but. I don't understand why they wouldn't have continued that. So you can't really measure, you know, below an inch. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Darn, because I was really excited about it, but to me that's a deal breaker. Unless I can figure out a way to put my own sticker on there, but that's like kind of ludicrous. So, back to Hobby Lobby. For my Fiskars, because here's Fiskars. It's got all throughout the measurement. But this is where I broke it. So that's really too bad, because I did like it. Um, so anyways, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please do so. And I love comments. It's, it's a fun way to interact with everybody. Um, any way you want to get a hold of me, I've got all the information down below on my blog. My Instagram, my Facebook, my email, and also your paper pantry, my website, where we all get together and um, make projects. We have different projects every month that we make and swap with each other. That is $12 a year, which is pretty cheap for some fun. 
and you get to meet a lot of nice people. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.